Malaysia, Malaysia plays Malaysia plays uh, showing their support for Nirvana Malaysia. Oh, this is, this is really, really going to be nasty. Like, the amount of damage that Ursa can do in a blink of an eye, yeah. Eon can get much. It doesn't matter if Alchemist can have a heart and a soul cure us. He can have everything he possibly wants to Ursa keep himself alive. Ursa is going to one into him. Yeah, the, mo the more Fury swipes to come out, the, the faster your HP goes down. Mid, early, late, Ursa can do it all. Yeah, Great I, lineup from there. I really think that we're going to see probably Storm going out against Alchemist in the middle. Or mm -hmm. do you think it's Ursa? Definitely, I don't think it's Isla bad though. I think it's either the Ursa or the Storm Spirit going in the middle lane up against Alchemist. Uh, it's, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be Storm Spirit. Ursa's gonna be babysit, babysat, because they gotta make sure he actually doesn't actually get brought down. So uh, it will be in the hands of CM, hands of the Ursa Witch Doctor. They have they Tell us, hero. What is it gonna be? <laughs> They're waiting. This, uh, so they already know where they wanna go. Come on, bottom. bottom. Bottom the fifth and final oh, pick coming yes, out. Oh, great e home play. Do you remember casting those e home uh, e -E <laughs> yeah. replays? This could be awesome. Let us hold. We are on. Semi-finals e home versus Nirvana Malaysia. This is going to be awesome. Triple A, we're running around as bottom. We'll have Jay running around as our alchemist going on out as well. VS, who's in the hands of VS right now? A2O, we're we'll playing as our support hero. 357, we'll be playing as our wind runner. And I've lost the last one for Malaysia. <laughs> for China. There it is. X is X How could I forget X's line? If anyone remembers ESWC, I had nightmares over that. And I'm pretty sure all the European teams did as well. He's a real witch. You see a real witch. Real demon witch. Yeah. Good morning. Anyway, it's no surprise. Yamate is going to play the Ursa. And Heytry is going to play um, the Storm Spirit. Yeah, oh, looking out, looking oh, out right now. You see the Alchemist good. having a look at Witch Doctor there for just a moment. They're like, hang on, is that you? Yeah, I think it is you. Wait for the right times to go through. Hello. Alchemist, keep your eyes open very, very close for this one right now and see where the attack will actually come. VS walks around the corner. They find Ursa Warrior. Oh, Magic Missile. Oh, this could yeah, be first blood. Alchemist done yeah. coming on. Bottom's there as well. Even the wind rose. Have yeah, you go. Shackle shot. Oh, yeah. Yamata. Yeah. Yamata. Yeah. First yeah. blood. Yeah. Eero yeah. claims it. Jay walks away with the scalp. And he'll mount that on his wall. Well, they're going to make a comeback before the cruise Ivan. Oh, Yamate gets taken down um, by a perfect combination, I would say. First, he came out with a VS stun and then followed up by a stun from the Alchemist and Shaka. What, how can you escape that? You can't. There is no the way. The CM did try. The CM did try to, to, to help. That, that, that's exactly why the four heroes went down there, get the first blood. They knew Ursa Warrior was going to be babysat on that bottom lane. They wanted to actually sh shut it down straight away. They did so as well. Really, as far as items go, Ursa's not going to get far behind. Like, the only real... for the Ursa. The, the, the only real advantage is the extra levels which come up. It was split between four different heroes, so it's not much actually going out. Like, maybe a fifth of a level for every single hero involved in that one. And the extra gold that does actually come out for Jay as well. So, uh, they, are, they are what we're going to see. We did see the tri lane before. At the moment, it's just uh, Windrunner hanging around on that bottom lane, bottom attacking from the trees. Uh, going, going up against that one, CM, Ursa, Frost Cone already just pushing 357 back on that bottom lane. There appears just to be the two heroes down there on the bottom. Jump themselves up towards the top. Alchemist going solo up against the Lone Druid. It is a Silver Bear up on the top lane. Jump towards the middle and now we see HY soloing as a Storm Spirit going up against Lion. It is Exus Lion, the Blink Taker Lion. It's where it all started and now he's going to show us where it ends. Well, looking at the bottom lane is probably where the action are going to be. But look at the top lane. Uh, the baby bear has decided to go for a calling blade, which means he is going to go intensive laning. Um, you look at the alchemist items and you know that, oh, he bought a bullet. He got his first item, a bullet. <laughs> well, well, why do you think he bought a bullet as his first item? Uh, I think he just knows he needs that extra speed to try and escape from that bear. It is so, so damn hard when you get yourself caught out. And uh, Ursa Warrior, just being a little bit too close there. Looking Yamata, for an opening right Yamata there. Yamata really wants to farm that bottom lane, Arby. He's just like coming in nice and close, getting himself on the front lines, really hoping the Wish Doctor and CM can keep this wind run and keep this bottom back. They've got to watch out for that extra stun, which will fly out. Now the Frost Cone goes off there, 357, oh, go being forced back there. The Wish Doctor waiting for the right time to actually stun there. So it's a very, very hard thing to do. Ned is one of the best Wish Doctors I've actually seen played out. And he just trying to get the right time to bounce that stun off. Now he's thinking AAA. There's a still a creep wave coming up there. So, uh, well, the Alchemist has taken. already used his self, though. Mm. So he's getting pressure really hard um, by XT Sila Bear. Looking at the bottom lane, what we're going to see is probably POTM being the support for the win right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh wait, PLTA is AA. No way he's a support then. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how sick his morphling was the last game. 
Yeah, Wolf, Wolf, Wolfling was amazing. Triple A, he can do it. There goes the bouncing stun. They are going to push him back just a little bit further on the bottom lane. Let's keep in Triple A and 357, who are sharing the farm on the bottom lane. VS now with a lot of friends there, being through the Illusions rune, uh, which will be in the two-minute rune that would have spawned on the bottom for a position to come through. Plotum now going on a little bit further, wants to go. Restoration popping off from Wish Doctor. Plotum really harassing it back there, trying to push them back past the wave with three VS or two. It's a little bit hard to actually target it off. So you target the bottom, try and drop him down, allow Yamatar to farm up. If he farms up enough, is really going to come off nicely for him, and uh, then there can be blood galore all over his paws. But until that point, they need to get him farmed. Yeah, all the, both the stunners from each team are actually looking for an opening to catch any any player they can find. Three lane, like like you said, it's going to be really exciting. Looking at the storm spirit going up against the demon, which both of them are pretty equal uh, at the moment, as you guys can see. At the top lane, we have Alchemist who is level four going up against uh, Silabra who is also level four. And at the bottom, you can see they are just harassing each other, mm -hmm. trying to catch each other. In fact, uh, Silabra is just going to farm as much as, he's ca as he as he can. Uh, and also the Fuzzy Wazzy, which is oh, a bottom lane, 357, yeah, Ross in the cone, they might go for the bouncing stun, here it comes, oh, it's a car getting close oh, enough, they're still attacking, very, very fast, that winner, win running, well, can escape out. Well, great right, to save himself. Oh, he that. He shackled the Fuzzy Wazzy against the tree, and, you know, Yamate couldn't find an opening to slow. It was so, so close, and this is the engagement, forcing the healing slab off. Actually, wish Dr. coming up to give one more hit there, making sure the healing slab can't finish his job. Try and he bring down Ness. Ness in trouble. Restoration's up. Cross code on the back of the AAA oh, right now. Shackle on. goes off. Try to bring him through. Oh. Leap goes out. Ursa trying to get a couple of kills. VS is in the, in the line. He's Can he get again. down? Oh, one more hit. Not enough. Caught out now. Triple A's caught next to the goblin shot. They might get it. Keeping the pressure on. Rotating around. Wish Dr. He's still moving. He's still running. He's not going down. He's still not going down. They got the kill! Nothing more his teammates could have done. And the Sentinel swiping They're from the heroes. That was crazy. <laughs> they are frank hungry. Everyone gets the gold. Everyone gets the gold. They're going to be a little bit, happy, a little bit uh, sad. Yamatar didn't get the last hit in that one. They're still claiming the life. Well, this is Nirvana's home ground because they are Malaysians. But you do see, you know, the crowd also love Ehome. Ehome has been our 08 winner. Both teams are top tier teams. If they lose this, they're going to drop down to lower bracket. Probably will have to face LGD all over mm -hmm. again. Man, that is not something we want to do. Not twice in a row. I wouldn't live through that again either. In fact, I probably won't live through that again if that actually happens. But Nirvana MY, they want to secure their spot here in the grand final for the winner's bracket at SMM. Here comes Ned. I just love it. I well, love that harassment. The Lion has full mana in the middle. And he's level 6, so he does oh. have enough for a stun and a finger. Uh, the stop is going to play super carefully now because he doesn't want to get comboed. Mm -hmm. Actually, I love the fact that uh, there's just so much confidence here from X. He knows how to play line. Like, I don't think that there is a better line in the world right now as opposed to X here from E Home. He's just pushing this mid lane off here. Storm Spirit is really, really scared to even come close to a great wave right now. Just had a pure fear of that line of X. And uh, this is exactly why ESWC team just crumbled around E Home. Back to the bottom lane, you do see the POTM and the winner are having a, you know, being really stable at the bottom lane because, mm -hmm. I mean, POTM has lead, Windrunner can escape by, you know, wind running. You do see the Lions being super aggressive in the middle. I really hope someone does something to control him. Otherwise, if he does that, if he does get a blink get dagger up, it's going to be a lot, a lot of trouble uh, for Nirvana and why. Yeah, that it is. Look, even now, top lane is. Uh, looks like Silabar is just trying to hide away at the moment. He's, he's sick of getting harassed here by the Alchemist, so he's going to hide himself inside the trees until he can pop himself back out again. Find the lanes, keep the pressure on. Doesn't want to lose the towers right now, so he pops out the bear. Quite happy to just push this Alchemist back here. Free farming going galore at the moment. Is uh, just keeping your eyes very, very closely. Middle lane still farming up. Lions still having a great old time right now. As I'm just. I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving watching the manoeuvres. I am really, really loving watching the manoeuvres coming out from the teams right now. I mean, look at how Nirvana positioned himself. You do see uh, Sila Bear just farming because he does have, he Wait is level 6 right now. <laughs> Wait for it. You know it wants to come. Looking. You know it really wants to come. Alchemist down, Toxic Spray going out on yeah, the top lane. To go for the Taking a little bit too much damage right now. And now Stand the magic there. missile, Go it was up. in this for so top. long. Get Sega down. Oh, that was, well. Prep it. Uh, Prep it by so well. Because VS was having in this and just following him since the middle lane. Oh, bouncing some bottom lane, 357. Oh, Might actually get it, it's only level one. It. Turn himself it's around, TP's a ball coming in. Boom! Finger up the Ursa. Finger, Hexag goes on to the CM. He's going to take, get taken now. There you go, power shot from... The wind runner! Yamate and Ice get taken down. 
He does. Do you want to say E-Home's a strong team? I think I can say E-Home's a strong team. E-Home's a strong team. E-Home is confident, <laughs> you know. They're on a roll. They just won LGD. Just yelling at each other. It's just like, come on, guys. Come on. Can you push it down? And, uh, well, even Alchemist now having a little bit of trouble up here on the top lane. Goes into Chemical Rage. Just that Spirit Bear being a little bit too annoying for him right now. Wants to jump himself in there. Continue that farm off on the top lane, which he's been doing non-stop so far. Or entangling race, just basically cramping his style up there on the top lane. Jump yourself down towards the bottom lane. Wish Doctor harassing that triple A bottom back again on that bottom on the bottom lane. While Ursa Yamata still trying to farm up, getting himself behind even further on gold every single time he dies. Power shot comes through there from the wind and tries to destroy the creep wave, forcing Yamata back once again. There is just not a break there for, for the Ursa Warrior on the bottom lane. Ursa knows that the late game does depend on him. He's trying to farm up. His support heroes are probably somewhere in the forest waiting to come out at the first sign of trouble. He does have to be supported. Uh, you do see that middle lane is open right now. The lion is just farming. He is level 8. He probably would have a lot of money. Ready? What, what do you say? He likes to go bling dagger, right? You see that's mm -hmm. his build, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay, that bling dagger up, get the attack speed up there. I think Potom and Winshot just looked at each other for a second and said, you are so not here. And uh, in the end, just tried to one blow, then walk themselves away. So Potom just trying to keep tabs on. Arrow flies out just behind Yamatar in the bottom lane. Thought they might actually get the push. Of course, their pool, you know, is happening at the moment with the creep wave for the Scourge being forced back past the tower. Yamatar's going to try and farm whatever he can. With Triple A thinking about going in there. It's not going to happen. Oh, Mid lane! Has Ryan's in trouble. It. Ryan, there's the ult. He gets himself out of it. Great support there by Ned, right his time. I think actually popped pop at that second. Happened to pop. Oh, at the bottom, we do see the Windrunners checking out and saw that they were, you know, trying to pull some creeps. Uh, he's going to come in and he's going to say, no, I'm not going to let you farm. I'm not going to let the Ursa farm. I'm going to control your lane together with the portal. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you really going to do? I just love the fact that Ned is absolutely everywhere at the right time. Well, Yamasi does have Facebook, though, even though he was so pressured. Yeah, if well he has Facebook, he can just face, go in, slow. Yamato is one of those players. You, you give him a creep in front of him, he'll still get that last hit, he'll still get the deny. You'll never ever stop that. Triple A actually shooting with the power shot coming from Windrunner at the same time. Always a beautiful synchronization ballet of attacks coming on through while Triple A now decides to fall himself back. Will it be enough though? Oh, Bouncing some in the first one. It doesn't no. bounce. Great shackle shot. Holds two. Leap comes through. Windrunner turns around, actually decides to fight against Ned. Um, won't actually hang around too long. Arrow flies out there, hoping that Ned would actually run straight down. Didn't know. Secret shot was the place to go. Restoration was the way to go. An opening. I mean, they keep trying and trying, but Ehome is like, like, like I said, they have, they have the checker shot, they have the wind runner, they did a perfect checker shot. They just have the great support. Cool follow up. It's a great support we've seen from Ehome in so many matches already. They showed it last game. They're showing it this time. They know when to back up their teammates. It is still four to one. Ten minutes, just over ten minutes into this game right now. We're going to see another save game coming out. Great Whoa. semi final. China versus Malaysia. It is awesome. Malaysia, though, they still have a lot of work to do. Ehome is really communicating up here. Malaysia, they almost look like a dead, quiet mouse just sitting on the side. They're going, really? How are we going to do this? I don't know. Let's just try it. Awesome. Let's do it. Go.